everybody welcome to an american truck simulator so i am flying in by the seat of my pants tonight tonight has been a crazy busy night and i had a good friend of mine mr nick t said hey dude you need to get on in stream after last night's stream it was incredible as you can see here a big 2705 so we hit uh big goals last night here just a small session goal that we'd set for ourselves. so anyway here we are so thanks guys for coming in let me go ahead and just throw some quick shout outs here my i'll tell you at least what we're going to attempt to do i've almost completely just reshaped how i did everything and that's because of one special guy out there left a, a very nice informational post and a comment to the video and uh, really threw uh, OFGG here a bone. So let me go and throw some quick shout outs. I hope everybody's doing well. What's up, Kyle? Kyle Florney, what's up? Or is that Flower Noy? I can't remember. Florney, what's up, Chuck? How are you, bro? Hope you're doing good. Mr. Snow Hunter 504 Killer, what's up, man? How are you? Mr. Blue Type RSX, our newest mod. So welcome to you, bro. Thanks for uh, y'all y'all coming in late late last minute and helping, uh, <laughs> bleh, and just helping out here. So uh, Jennifer Hudson, what's up? How are you doing? Top Dog, what is up? Uh, Philip, what's going on? Great to see you, man. How I hope you are well. It's been a few live streams, so welcome back. Mr. Perrin Anderson, what is up? Jace Fisher, who else we got? Chuck, da, 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 da. Nick Covington, what's up? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're okay. They're just, you know, they're okay. They're, they're just different. Most people equate, you know, that good old just... I don't know, just straight up, you know, American muscle for these, for the big trucks and stuff. And typically, I've always get the little sissier look on them. But anyway, I still like them. They're still good. Um, yeah, the Argosy, yes, is fantastic. Yes, this is, uh, yeah, I love this thing. It's great. Sounds awesome. Uh, I've got some great sound packs, and great engines. As you can see, I've got a few neat, nice little uh, fog lights that came in off of another truck that applied to this one. I don't know how that works, but it did. Uh, so it's pretty cool and obviously you can tell we've got the t9 on there so that makes it even better what is going on mr bear 203 how are you man i hope you're doing well uh who else we got yeah man uh yes sure you can kyle uh, feel free to email it's full tilled farming uh at gmail it's farming not it's not gaming it, it is farming so just uh just keep that in touch okay so here's what we got Today we've got the Freightliner Argosy. We've got the T9 on a brand new. Uh, I've got construction farm packs. I've got everything kind of back in. I've also got my double doubles. I've also got the big double doubles and the small double doubles. Uh, so that should be cool. So map wise, here we go. So as you can see, now we originally started way up here in Salt Lake. Now that we stopped right here last night. So last night, if you go back to the cab overs number one, uh, a nice uh, YouTuber name by the name of Bear came over and said, hey man, download this link and this will help you out on the I-10. They said this I-10 goes all the way down through. Uh, you can kind of tell us it's got the Lafayette, the raceway down there with the trucks and all that stuff. Anyway, he said this was a great little add-on here to kind of, so what we may do is just, to, if it's really good, we may just go ahead and scrap it. Well, let's go ahead and start down in Key West and let's work our way back up to the top. So, um, so anyway, I hope you enjoy that. Uh, we'll see what this this I-10 is. I have not driven on this, but he said it's got a lot of it. It's got a lot more scenery and a lot more stuff on it. If it gets boring, uh, you know, I, I apologize. I have not yet really tested this whole entire full thing out, but it's going to be, it's, and it's got to be better than, than our ride up north was going to be yesterday. That was that was getting terrible. So hopefully this is a little more exciting. This is our continued journey east. Uh, and then we'll start. So maybe this time we'll actually start down in the south uh, here at Key West. And we'll go north all the way up to Bangor, Maine. And then we'll uh, you know, we'll back up and punt. We'll buy our garages along the way so that we can, we can transfer and do anything here along down the line of any other series uh, coming in. So we've got a few areas like Dallas is a big area down here. Uh, Atlanta is another big area. Now over here, you've got a lot going on over here, and also this is my one of my favorite roads. I actually live in North Carolina, so this I-4077, I'm somewhere up in this neighborhood right here. Uh, so this whole big mountain pass off of 40 is uh, pretty uh, is something that I'm very familiar with. So let's go ahead, let's get things cranking here. There we go, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, this truck is definitely better. Their blue type, it's definitely better. All right, let's see. I can't think. Hey! Well, I'll wait till it comes across the, uh, make sure it comes across. Any day now? Yay! There it is, Mr. Bird. Tipping 10, but thank you there, Mr. Bird. 
Uh, the bird is the word, man. I appreciate that. You've always come in, always throw some support my way. So much appreciated to you there, bud. Uh, much appreciated. Um, all right, so let's let's get going. That is that is a good get your engine started. Let's get it rolling. Uh, let me just, I need to make sure, I need to turn my engines up. That's one thing. I turned that down way back uh, before. So let's grab those up here. Turn them about halfway, and then we'll see. It's going to be loud, so. Yeah, is that, is, that, is that what we got here? All right, so this sounds good. This sounds good. Yeah, it's okay. He Bird has the complete uh, the complete option to call me Tilt. He's always called me Tilt, so that's uh, quite okay, guys. Don't 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 uh, don't sweat the small stuff. All right, so let's check and make sure and see what we got here. Um, so we're fully rested and we're fully gassed. So we're literally ready to rock and roll. What's up, Mr. Double A? What's up, Jimmy the Rich? How are you? Hope you're doing well. The chat is frozen. Um, man. Uh, okay. All right. Let me. Well, it could be a YouTube thing, so let me let me double check it. Uh, if it does not refresh here, then uh, I'm just going to hide it away for this one, which always sucks. But this is a typical YouTube issue. So, um, all right, so let's do this. Let's hide that away because YouTube has locked up on that. So numbers probably won't update either. Uh, let's see. Let, let me go ahead and get that off here. Let's see. FTG Live chat. All right, so chat's off, so um, we should be able to. There it go. Uh, so we'll try it again here in a little bit, but uh, you'll have to uh, you'll have to look at chat on the phone or uh, something else. Hey, yeah, I hear you, man. I hear you there, Ant Hid. All right, let's see if we get get comfy here in my dining room chair. <clears throat> All right, so now we are in San San Simon or Simone. Uh, I think it's Simone, but anyway. We are going to take on the I-10. So I-10 supposedly has a lot of stuff. So a YouTuber came in and said, hey, man, you got to download this map. So I said, okay, let's give it a shot. So I've been just testing it and seeing what is on it. What I see so far, I like. It's got a lot of terrain. And it does have some things that do make it uh, a little bit more enjoyable than your average just driving like we were doing last night because it was terrible. Trailers are tough. I didn't have enough room. Come on now. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, it's like the wheel got stuck on that corner barrier right there. <laughs> Slowly but surely get on. Alright, here we go. She's fixing it. There she goes. She broke loose. All right, now we're rolling. <laughs> yeah, get ready for rain. Hopefully no rain. Uh, things have been pretty good so far. I did a little bit of testing earlier. Uh, just trying to get some things like, yeah, I like this, I like this, this and this is good. So anyway, it, it, it'll be good. It'll be good. Leaving San Simon. So looks like we're going to go up here. All right. Yeah, this will be a little bit, this probably will seem a little bit disheveled tonight. Uh, I'm just not usually my prep self, but after last night, I had a good friend who was telling me, hey man, you just need to get out there and stream. So, here we is. Alright. And it's even better because we're pulling my favorite tractor from Farm Sim up there today, so that's good. Yeah, this truck is a beast, Jace. It is a beast beast and the only reason is because uh, I figured I may pull some of those heavier loads today and if I did I wanted to be able to get them up to speed and honestly if I have to let it rip down here on some of these roads I wanted to be able to let it rip and not be uh, you know putting around at 50 miles an hour This 
trailer's not too tough on the on the tractor. It's not too it's not too heavy. I think we're only dealing somewhere around. Yeah, there you go. It's only thirty one thousand. So basically, the the weight of a typical trailer, um, which you know I, I don't know. I think it probably should be a little bit heavier than that. But they did do a lot of things with the trailer pack. Uh, this is the Jazzy Cat one point six point one update. So after they pull that in, a lot of times they'll lower um, the weights on everything. They'll lower it so that it has some type of a um, the lower the weight so that there's there's more trucks can pull it. So you don't have to have the biggest and, and the biggest and best trucks out on the road there to pull it. So what's up, A and W? How are you, man? No horn. It's got to go. Good horn, and we've got an awesome Jake break. So let me go outside because it actually sounds really killer outside. Let's just get in. Let's get an eight load. Break sounds good. Yeah, we did that top off. Man, that's terrible there, blue type. I tell you, man, motorcycles are bad. They are dangerous. I can't stand them. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll shoot that out. Yeah, Chuck could probably go see what I replied to there on Twitter. Uh, Jimmy sent me a picture of this humongous donut. It's basically one donut that took up the whole entire box. <laughs> yeah, it's the train horn. I'm not exactly sure. See, it, it normally comes across as thunder, but and that's what the name of the horn is. But it's uh, it's basically a train horn. And I'm not exactly sure why it's a train horn because it, it shouldn't be. It should be labeled a train horn. Uh, but for whatever reason, that thunder now carries the, the sound file of a train horn, which, you know, I, it is what it is. Okay. What's up, Young Guns? How are you, man? When you when you can join on Farm Sim, yeah, you know we've been toying around with the idea of having uh, one of our feature farms or something. We've been toying around with the idea, Bird, of doing that on a dedicated, um, to where you know we have a couple of managers for that dedicated, and um, you know especially for live streams, where we'll come in and we'll showcase what's being done. Uh, who's been active on that dedicated um, we maybe get featured in the live streams at the end of the week or something like that just things we've been doing uh, your progress that's been made on the farm those kind of things I don't know so I'm still to toying around with some some ideas on that so uh, as soon as we kind of you know I kind of just lock my, my mind around a particular idea I just there's so much stuff fixing to come out uh, farm sim with the new platinum updates fixing to drop that one's coming out then you've got uh, ATS update New Mexico is going to be dropping fairly soon not not ridiculously soon but fairly soon ETS got the DAF tuning update that thing is amazing see any ET uh, ETS fans out there that you like uh, you know the DAF trucks and stuff they put out a tuning packs like 299 the thing is bad to the bone well Italy is coming next on uh, ETS which that's got to be a definitive I, that's a definite I love ETS we're going to stream some more of that by the way as well um, and then ATS bringing in New Mexico is the next on the list so we've definitely got some really 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 nice stuff that's going to be dropping plus Gold Rush is going to be dropping uh, so there's going to be a plethora of stuff so I'm hoping that I've got enough time in the week to spend I mean you know Farm Sims kind of fallen by the wayside just because you know so many people it's just it's just gotten so big the mods have gotten so crazy it's almost kind of modded itself out where people are like okay i'm kind of a little ready for something new the other one is is pure farming 2018 that's a new one that just kind of dropped the title a hint uh, of when they're going to be looking to release that which i think is november and it looks great from what i can tell of the screenshots and what i can tell of everything else it looks incredible so I mean, you know, we thought the same thing with Farm Sim 18 when it came out, but the biggest thing about any of those games, and all you guys know it, uh, the biggest thing about them is the mods. If the mods aren't there and it's just vanilla game, it'll be good for a few months and then it'll it'll fall away. It'll fall away. Hey, what's up, Rebecca Lexington? This is 
this truck is on I believe this truck is on the workshop so if you're looking for this type in exactly the way I've got a Freightliner uh, if not Google is your best friend uh, one of these sites will have this particular truck here so you guys that, that are maybe jumping in joining in here a little bit late here did get to see the full load. we are in the Freightliner I guess it's the Argosy uh, is how I think you pronounce it we're on our coast to coast map and we're headed east on the I-10 so we'll see how far we get tonight I'm, I'm not going to go as long as I normally do at night just because um, you know we've you know I'm getting an hour late start so I'm not gonna go to three in the morning my time uh, we'll keep it here at, um, you know an hour and a half or something like that unless it's just a big old crazy night then we may just have to stay up all night but anyway here we go so there we go so there's the freight liner once we make this turn here I'll uh, I'll swing up on the other side let me make sure oh. All right, so am I supposed to take that? Yes, I am. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hang on. All right. See, this load is not really going this way, so I'm going against the grain. So every little one, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna wanna make me go back the other way with it. So. Here we go. All right. So there you go. That's everything. Full lights, except for uh, those. Oh Lord! There we go. Woo. Hey. Stiffen up his tailpipe. <laughs> what is Gold Rush? Hey, I was in North Carolina weather. Oh yeah, man. You're getting uh, Harvey's Harvey stepping in. Yeah. Well, I hope you guys are okay. I'd, I'd love to uh, you know, let me know what uh, what the status is. All right, just because I want to, I'm gonna go ahead and buy some, and I'm just gonna check here. I'm gonna make sure we buy some garages here along the way, just in case we have to take a mod out or something random, kind of crazy comes out there. I want to make sure that we've got some, uh, or let's say if our great our game crashes, I want to make sure that we can get back to some of these cities and uh, and take a and take a drive. Plus, if we want to start somewhere else and do some other type of a uh, map, that we can certainly do that. So El Paso looks absolutely fantastic. I've not seen any of this. It's all it's all new to me. Hey, what's up? Straight like that, ENT. What's up, man? Yes, I saw that bird. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it is a little played out. I mean, it's just, it's modded out. That's the only problem. I mean, it, it, it'll, it'll settle up here once we get the new mods and the Platinum Edition comes out. It'll kind of have a new feel to it again. I mean, it, it just will. It always does. Oh, yes, no. We've, we've definitely heard about her at Harvey, man. It's been all over the news. <laughs> yeah, I, I do sometimes. I miss I missed a few of the guys that I played with. That was uh, That's probably always the, the hardest thing sometimes. I do miss some of those guys I used to play Farm Sim with. Let's see, they're going to get creamed by this trailer. Nope, no they're not, because I'm a good driver. Hey, what's up Jack? How are you, bro? If you run it, they will watch. <laughs> well, I hope so. Uh, welcome everybody here in the live stream. We've got a way later start than I normally do. We didn't really get started here midnight my time, so welcome everybody. We're sitting pretty here at 2705 subs here on a 3,000 gold. So if you uh, feel like subscribing, if you enjoy the content, go ahead and hit that button. And uh, always hit the bell there to make sure if you want to be subscribed here to the content. That way you'll always get the newest and latest and greatest here from FTG. Uh, other than that, thanks for being here. Thanks for being a participating member here with the live streams. Uh, that certainly makes it a lot more uh, enjoyable for me as well as everybody here that is watching. Uh, just it's a lot easier to keep up with it. So thanks guys for being here. And uh, we'll let these uh, cars kind of filter out a little bit. And I've also got some social media there. So we got any, uh, we got any uh, Twitter fans, got any Facebook fans here. You can reach me at all of those there at Full Tilt Twitter and at Full Tilt Gaming uh, there with Facebook. So. And I do have a traffic mod still in. I kept that in just so our trips along down 
uh, especially the I-10 or wherever we were before. Uh, the I-40, any of those interstates will be a little bit more populated with just traffic, trucks and stuff kind of going through. It kind of gives you a little bit more of a, a sense of realism rather than it just being kind of empty road. So. All right, come on now, come on. I'll let this Jeep go, and I guess these guys are not going to go, maybe? Oh, it's going to get caught. Nope. All right, so it's going to be a little hairy here. All right, let's see what we got. Uh, probably not, Jace. I'll probably just go ahead and stay at this one just because of the speed. And mainly because I don't have the, uh, I do have the Volvo in here, but it's not set up with the proper cargo. Uh, I had planned for that truck because of the skins that were available. So maybe here on the next one or one of the trips, depending on how far we make it, uh, we'll feature that one. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Yes, I want to buy this garage. Yada, yada, yada. All right, so how to set this up. All right. Now this could get a little hairy here. Alright, now y'all go. See if my idea here works out. I don't know if this trailer might be too long. I think it is. See if I can uh, spin this thing around. It's a good thing about a cab over the, the steering radius on these things are absolutely incredible. <laughs> but you might wind up jackknifing it too, so. <laughs> I would get this sucker stuck. trailers for we uh oh really nobody's <laughs> gonna let me out <laughs> hey what's up game killer how are you yes zach we are hauling a t9 new hauling there for all my farm sim fans there you go love it <laughs> oh we never screwed there snow hunter we always find a way out need bear to come drive come on guys y'all get a little have a little faith we're fixing to just bowl the uh the ups guy over here because traffic's starting to back up again. <laughs> wow. So, there's no way to do traffic over, so I'm not exactly sure what I'm waiting on. Uh, unless we're waiting on someone up here to turn left that won't. Or there's an accident. That happens. Yeah, traffic on this is a little bit... And see, here's the thing, too. I don't know if the particular areas that are done, because I think uh, some of this is done from another individual. I don't think it's all... Let's see if this gal stop. Nope, oh, she's not. She said, uh uh. She said, I've been waiting here too long. There went Bernie Sanders. Yeah, you're going to have to stop now. There we go. Now we go. Now we're good. Now we're now we're now we're rolling. Now we're rolling. 
Yeah, well, see, sometimes, and this is this is this is kind of the bad part about mods. Sometimes, a lot of times with mods, uh, they're optimized for certain areas. Say they're optimized for like what I was doing, what we have been doing, which is a lot of the um, pro mods, or I guess they call it Project West. A lot of those mods and some of the mods that work with that really well, they'll say actually on it, you know, works best with this because it's optimized for those areas. And someone has gone in and kind of custom done the mods of where your congestion areas are, uh, how far out, how much your traffic will back up before it respawns or repopulates. You know, will, will traffic allow other traffic to go through? So here's the thing. Any traffic mod that you download, there's two things that you got to watch out for. That's the repopulation rate, which is how fast cars come up on streets that are empty, uh, which is basically some people would call that your respawn rate. And the other part is your flow rate. So if your flow rate is really fast, then that means it's okay if you're moving. But once you stop moving and you try to cross that grain of traffic, they won't let you back in. And that's kind of where this mod is. It's great if you want to keep the flow of everything going, but it's not that great if you're trying to uh, drive a lot in the cities. So I've got another one that I may jump in there and see how it does. But, um, you know, other than that, I mean, that's really the only kind of bad part about it. like this they're not going to stop for you like you're going to have to get your truck in gear and you're just going to have to get up there and get in line all right now we're cooking so now we're back through el paso so we'll continue on so Welcome to those that are just joining the CPR. Welcome to FCG here. Welcome to live stream. Uh, we're sitting at 2705 subs. So if you haven't, if you do enjoy the content, if you've watched a few things here uh, with FTG, we've got a lot, a lot of great series that have come up. We're streaming a few new games uh, and moving into a few new things. One of those two new things I've been working on a lot here recently is getting back into ETS, working pro mods, working as much as I possibly can on uh, getting a fully modded up ETS. So if you enjoy ETS, come check out ETS. It is uh, is amazing. Euro Truck Simulator 2. So we'll be doing some of that. Uh, and I've also got a couple of possibilities with some other games that may come into uh, that may come my way early access. So uh, I've got a few new propositions on those. So we'll see what uh, we'll see what comes up my way on those. But anyway, two new games and uh, started continuing work today on X Plane as well. So. Hopefully within, uh, I would like to be doing that within a month. That's a goal for me, uh, to be getting back into x -Plane, doing some early streams and doing some early stuff on that. So those two plus Farm Sim, Gold Rush coming up along down the way, Platinum for Farm Sim, lots of stuff coming up my way, uh, lots of things are coming in. So uh, feel free to come back, check out another live stream here, and we'll see you around. So what's up, Andrew Filmaciones Razo, hope you're doing well, man. Frank Deer, what's up? Back with Freightliner. Yes, so this is actually, for those that are just joining and may be wondering what I'm driving here, this is the Frank Freightliner. I believe it's the Argosy. Uh, but anyway, this is a, a modded truck. Uh, you can grab this off the workshop, I believe, and the wonderful T9, uh, which is out of the Jazzy Cat 1.6.1 update. The good stuff. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. Uh, I'll do that blue type. I'll do that sometime. We get a bunch of guys in here, uh, get a nice sub train going. We'll we'll definitely hit that up. Friday's always a slow night anyway, so kind of I kind of even didn't even know if I really wanted to go stream out tonight. But uh, I'm glad I did. So I'm glad all you guys came back and hung out with me. Appreciate that. Oh, <laughs> where'd he go? <laughs> Hey, what's up, Jacob? Yeah, man, we are headed east, so we're on the south end. We're on the Interstate 10. Uh, a bear, which was a guy that came, not bear, that we know bear, but B-E-A-R, left me a nice comment for a link to a mod that uh, populates a lot of things around the I-10, which is what we're on. So he said a lot of between uh, Texas, Louisiana, he said there's a lot of really good stuff onwards uh, into Florida. So I was like, I'll give it a shot. We'll see how things look. We'll see what it is. And he said there's a lot more population of just more stuff in and around there so we'll see what's going on 
We're just going to drive until the wheels literally fall off the truck. Off the uh, off the truck. Get a good look uh, inside here. This truck looks really great. Uh, can I drive from the cab? Oh yeah, look at there. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna lay back here, take us a little nap, watch a little TV. It's cool. It's kind of that's kind of yeah, that's kind of cool actually. I like that. Let's, let's take that off. There we go. We've got our chauffeur up there, so everyone's riding in the sleeper. <laughs> oh, whoop. Got the sleeper and shotgun field. I have a little backpack. I do, and I have a hard hat, too. <laughs> See, here's my hard hat. We were in a, uh, that's just, you know, we're, we're, we're doing the legit thing here. We're, uh, we're, we're trailer in the T9, so I figured, you know, we might have to get in there, work some chains, get under there, might want to, uh, you know, make sure we have us a hard hat. I actually like riding back here. It's kind of cool. <laughs> that is scary. Yeah. Right behind the curtains, too. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. I'm just going to check map as we go. and we'll make sure that we stay on the I-10. Um, so there's Van Horn. So let's, let's just set. Where's our next? Okay, our finish. Our, at least our early part here is San Antonio. Now, we can go... Any of these places, I just want to try to stay on the I-10, which I believe is going to go straight. Yes. Okay. So the I-10 is going to go all the way through. So let's go ahead and let's just set us a prelim here of Houston. So that's going to be our second drop-off point. So we'll come down here. Uh, let's, wait a minute. You know what? Let's just go ahead and reset. Let's go all the way down to Houston and let's grab a garage here. So we may drop the trailer, cancel the load off there uh, before. But anyway, we'll, we'll uh, see all that. Whoa. All right, back to the cab. Here we are. Ooh, feels like twice as fast. I mean, we are doing 97, so y'all, y'all want to see speed test? This thing will do without having a trailer on it. It'll do uh, about a buck 29, buck 30. Can I use the Freightliner Cascadia? Um, I'll look at it. Um, I don't know if it's been updated for 1.28 or if it works. Um, I'll, I'll take a look at it and see what it looks like. Fort Worth. Where is Fort Worth? Let's see where Fort Worth's at. Um, uh, Fort Worth is not in here. Not in Texas. They don't have Fort Worth. Hmm. Interesting. I could have, I would have thought they would have had Fort Worth, Texas in here, but it looks like they got Dallas, uh, Abilene, uh, San Antonio, Corpus Christi, and uh, yeah, and a few other, the Amarillo, Amarillo and Lubbock. So yeah, they don't even have, they don't even have Fort Worth. <laughs> so I'm driving through Hurricane Harvey. <laughs> Well, I, I would imagine once we once we have to hit our next nap, which is not going to be in too much longer, uh, once we do that, it's probably going to be raining anyway. It always is. Yeah, they only got Dallas, man. Just floor, don't give up whatsoever. <laughs> All right, we'll pull the trailer. Let's go ahead and throw it down. Somebody in chat just wondering, hey, this is not a typical FTG style note, but this is just driving a mindless road here. No cities, no great scenery, just a bunch of cacti uh, and a bunch of flat roads and some mountains on the side. It's not too bad, but we're going to see what she can do with uh, 36,000 pounds behind her. We'll just dodge and weave. Hopefully we won't uh, we won't wreck. Hey, what's up there, Nick? Welcome back. Drove to 112, 
flip. <laughs> don't flip. Now nah, we probably won't be a game killer. There'll, there'll be a certain limit where it's not going to let me go any faster, at least with the load on the back. But once we move in and do something else, we probably won't. It probably won't be that bad. <laughs> I'd say that'd be out of fuel, probably. <laughs> Let's see what. Uh, let's see if it's got fuel usage. Yeah, so it's using like a gallon, almost a gallon a second. <laughs> miles per gallon. Okay, 4.2 miles a gallon. That's what I think is what that says. <laughs> yeah, I think it's cooking. It's okay. 127, 126. You know, I don't know blue type. That's good for a cab over. Yeah, I would say so, man. I mean, it's got like a 700 horsepower engine, so you know what do you expect. I kind of wanted to see if we could maybe pull some of the doubles. I put some doubles back in, so I've got some info for you guys. Uh, so anybody that enjoys doing the mods and wants to, you know, mod their game and whatnot. So here's what you want to do. You want to go grab the uh, I think it's the SCD or the S3D, uh, the double pack. You have to get it outside of the workshop. Uh, this mod is only good inside uh, the websites like ATSMods.lt or one of those other ones that I used to talk about. So you want to go in there and you want to find the one that's the double full-size trailers. And they've got like the yellow roadway, ABF, uh, they've got FedEx, they got UBS I believe. I can't remember, but anyway, there's like... I would say at least if you like the container stuff, there's like at least eight or ten different brands of those trailers. And then they have the singles of all those trailers as well, so the, like the 48-footers. Uh, and then you can pull double 48s, plus you can pull the single the single double for uh, the pup trailers, like the 32s or whatever the footage is. So you've got both of those. But anyway, once you put the big trailers in there, it populates all kind of cool stuff. So if you want to do the FedEx container series, or a UPS, or Roadway Yellow, JB Hunt, You'll see some of those, like there goes one right there, the regular white one. We just passed the JB Hunt one and a yellow, uh, which was an old freight line. So both of those are all in there, plus they're in the traffic as well. Uh, so those populate, and they populate a lot. So a lot of times I try to use in the, uh, the FedEx one, and it really wouldn't do anything at all. It barely would populate. Now, when I put this map, uh, when I put that mod in, uh, it really, really, really goes up, and all those trailers really pop through, and uh, and they come up. Because pretty much after every one, there's at least double doubles in almost every city that I go to. But I also have the option of carrying that double, just taking one of the trailers off and doing it single. So that's what's cool about that one. Overtake on the shoulder, that's right, man. Hit the strip and everything. Yeah, engine malfunction. That's because we've got some damage to the truck. So every every now and again, this thing it'll it'll uh, it'll come through. It's okay. What's up, Seven Scrub? How are you, man? <laughs> yeah, almost one thirty. Yeah, well, it'll do faster than that uh, when you don't have anything on it. See, here goes the uh, JB Hunt. We just uh, saw the what was the one that just went by? I forget the, the Schneider. So you got the Snyder uh, trailers on there. If we get to the next city here, once we make our stop. Now, I know it says 42 hours, but keep in mind, guys, the 42 hours is for a return trip all the way back to Tucson as well. So we're looking at, like, way less than half of that because every time we go forward, we're actually extending that time some, too. So we will, like, tick over an update. Um, just so, you know, don't worry about that, guys. <laughs> Every time I extend it a little bit further, it's got to it's got to calculate the trip back because we never did find any cargo that was actually going down the Interstate 10. So, yeah, yeah, you're right there, Blue Tide. Nice little uh, looks like I'm not sure what they got. Maybe a uh, solar farm out there is what that looks like, and wind turbines.
<laughs> I bet they just piss the pants. And we're good on gas. Probably could use a nap, but that's okay. We'll, we'll grab one at the next one. Not a biggie. All these are all, all modded trailers here. Uh, here's one of those. That's the shore. That's the end game one there. Just trying to point out as many of these mod trailers as I can, just to give you guys an idea what some of them look like. A lot of you see, I kind of have my loads that I really, really like and ones that are my favorites. Um, am I close to San Antonio? Yeah, we're going to be getting close. This should be the next city that we go into, actually, Jason. Oh my gosh, it's not gas, it's fuel. Sorry, guys. <laughs> my bad. All right, so welcome to everybody here that's uh, that's coming in. Just want to throw out a quick what we're doing, where we're at, where we're headed, uh, what truck we're in. So if you want to know the truck, there we're in the Freightliner Argosy. Uh, it is a beauty. We've got a few aftermarket kits on there, and we've also got the T9 uh, being pulled in. So we are uh, somewhere on the south end of Texas here with a new roadmap. So this was sent to me in a comment by a guy uh, named Bear. So Bear, if you're watching, if you're listening, Thanks for your tip. Thanks for your pointer. That's what it's all about. So thank you, buddy, for that. Appreciate that. Uh, and he simply said, hey, man, if you want to run on the I-10 across country, it's a lot more uh, populated. It's a lot more of a better drive. So I said, okay, let me see it. So he sent it to me. And then here we go. So this is great. It's a little extra on here. So we've got, uh, we've got Viva Mexico, coast to coast, and we've got this new map all set on kind of top of it to kind of overlay uh, what's going on. So I like it so far. Um, I've never been out this way, but I've been enough up on the north end side to know that it's boring as crap. So uh, this is actually pretty good. So no petrol. <laughs> we got we got to get in the ETS mind frame. So let's go up and get our petrol. We'll buy our, our uh, petrol gas fuel by the liter. We get a liter of petrol. That was a toss out to all these Super Trooper fans. We get a liter of cola. Car ramrod. Ramrod. <laughs> tundra. Yeah, I'm a Tundra guy. Toyota Tundra. <laughs> Petrol's still gas. <laughs> yeah, I guess we call it, well, we call it petroleum. So, yeah. <laughs> We'll call it diesel. How about that? We'll just call it diesel. Yeah, got a few planes flying over. It's pretty cool. Whoa. I thought he was landing on the freeway. <laughs> yeah, Super Troopers was awesome. Still, that's still one of my favorite movies. Every time it comes on Comedy Central, I gotta sit down and watch it. Alright, so here's one of those trailers, a Schneider trailer that also comes in that double double pack. So you can pull double double Schneiders and then you can download a, a skin for most and all the trucks have uh, most of those in them. So JB Hunt, Yellow, Roadway, that's a pretty cool one. I like that one. There's not, I don't know that they have a Roadway cab skin for one of the Kenworths or the, the Peterbilts, like the, what was it, the. 579 and the 680 maybe I don't, the, the two standard the, the SCS trucks I like to have for that one which is kind of which is kind of crappy because I actually really do like uh, that particular one it's uh, the those two trucks are actually really good especially by the time you add a few little extra add-on packs get you an engine sounds pack in there those things actually sound really 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 good so um, and no usually no shortage of skins on those but uh, for some of these newer skin packs, and I saw someone just released a, a big mod pack of um, all the standard skins, you know, like Charged, and which is like the blue and neon green one that they did that matches the businesses in the default vanilla game, which I would have loved to have seen them do one of those. Uh, and we'll get off here in San Antonio for you guys, and I'm sure we're going to, let's, let's go ahead and cancel our job once we get down in here, uh, and then we'll, uh, we'll see where we're at sleep-wise. We'll see where we're at sleep-wise, and then we'll see where we're at. Gas will be okay, but we may try to pick us up another load, so we'll see what else we can find. And we'll go ahead and buy another garage down here. All mods are freeze there, a shmoney babies. Yep, every single one of them. 
Uh, I have not ever paid. Now, I have donated and given money for mods um, because people have asked, and some of this stuff I really, really like it enough. Like, I donated some to Pro Mods, uh, which is on the ETS side, and as well as Project West. I've donated and I've uh, helped out, uh, or at least done my part there with some of the Farm Sim modders, like Black Sheep Modding. I really enjoy their stuff because they do things from a multifaceted approach and make sure that they keep in uh, console guys in the loop and, and as well as put out really good really good just stuff for uh, PC in general so I always support those monitors man those monitors do a ton of work I mean I'm just streaming what they are spending months and months and months working on so uh, just the amount of work I'm putting into trying to stream and, and, and keep all of my ducks in a row I, I couldn't even imagine what it would be like to, uh, to do mine so alright so here's our garage so before we get uh, tangled up in here. We'll go ahead. Whoop. All right, there we go. All right. Uh, let's see, Nick. Yes. Uh, so we have a G29. Is what I'm using. I do have the three in the floor. So we've got the uh, the the brake, the gas, and the clutch. And I also have uh, six on the dash, so we are doing the full, the full 18 speed is what we're simulating. I do the same in ETS, and actually I've gotten to where I'm actually doing the the shift patterns for the different trucks. So we do the shift patterns for Volvos, we do shift patterns for Scanias versus uh, Daffer and the other uh, regular, you know, regular series trucks that are there. So it's, it's cool. I enjoy learning all that stuff. It is a little bit of a learning, but a learning curve, but it's okay. So let's cancel this job. Uh, Ten grand for that, no problem. Follow the ice cream van. <laughs> All right, six. Oh, look at there! Perfect, guys. Right in the nick of time. There it is, raining, and we need a nap, which is going to put us about in the middle of middle of the night, around two in the morning, which is okay. So let's go ahead and see if it's going to take us to yes. Go ahead, fix the trunk up. And then we'll see if we can't pick us up another uh, another job out of San Antonio. And we're just continuing east. Uh, even if we find one that's uh, not going the same road, we'll, we'll still we'll still grab it. It's not a big deal. It's okay. I'm just driving, chilling, having a good time with you guys. So thanks for coming in. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. A little bit late start, but that's okay. Um, let's do this. Let's go ahead and find. Uh, let me see what kind of jobs we got. See if we can pull any kind of cool cargo out of... Oh, there's absolutely nothing. Well, there he goes. Farm sim, concrete beams. Oh, that's actually going down the I-10. Ooh. Where's this going? Savannah? We might just have to pull some uh, bobcats. That would be perfect with the... Uh... See, there's one of the roadways. Now, you can take that roadway, I believe, and you can turn that into a double. So that's the, the 48 foot, and this is the... Uh, farm sim trailer, which looks really good, but uh, it's going the complete opposite. So I'll at least try to go this way. That's that's cool. All right, so let's do that. I like that. I, I don't believe I've taken the Case 70 XT little bombcat. Uh... Oh, good. It's right next door. Paint the truck red and white. Uh, yeah. Well, it's what is it? Orange and black. Yeah, this one is just a, it's already a pre-made skin. I can't change the colors on these. Tried iRacing. No, but Chuck played iRacing, one of our uh, mods here. He does that a lot. Um, I've never gotten into it. i am tell you, man, by the, by the time I get done with, uh, when I, by the time I get done with all these, uh, it, it, it's a lot of games. I don't have any more cab overs to change over to. <laughs> I don't want to be accused of clickbaiting the titles because I'm not driving the cab over. <laughs> Turn your wipers on, I can't see! Oh, look at there, and we have a nice little interior light. Oh, look at there. Oh, look at that. Alright, there we go. Well, that's true. Uh, that's true, Nick. Um, now, some depending on if you know, depending on how you do things and how you structure things, 
uh, from the perspective of your transmission in the shop a lot of these mods will offer basically the 18 speed uh, it is the 13 speed it just offers you high low in the first what five so you know it's uh, it's kind of like you you have the 13 um, but you keep the same ratio even if you add it up and have uh, even if you add it up and do 18 it just adds one through four get all the high lows as well so I, I mean I, I most of them are like that at least on here because of the way I've got my game modded and the mods that I have in there they kind of they kind of unlock all of those in there so I, but I do get what you're saying most of the time though for me and most of these trucks I'm pulling the heavy stuff so I need that extra especially starting out uh, you know you can you can weasel through those first five or six gears uh, get the thing picking up and then by that time you really aren't still gonna be able to make the truck when you're pulling the heavy stuff you're not gonna be able to get it you know above uh, I don't know what 60 at best and that's if you're going down a hill uh, any faster than that the trailers gonna run off behind you so <clears throat> and the oversize and the oblong loads I mean all those kind of things they all they all play a part into it but uh, that's why I usually never roll 13 speed. I need to start doing that though for like the FedEx, the you know the containers uh, and those kind of things. I need I need to start doing a 13 speed for that. All right, let's see uh, HMS. Here we go. All right, there's our little skid steers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll grab our nap here in a minute. I just want to make sure we get the uh, freight here, because if we don't, then uh, it will go on and walk away and disappear. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, Charlotte and, the, you know, I don't know, man. I used to like NASCAR, and then I felt like it just got too... Um, it got it got too money motivated, you know. It wasn't about the racing. It wasn't about you, know, you got teams come in that had just billions of dollars to win races, um, which I guess some would say, well, that's what it's about. You know, the guy that does the best wins. But it used to be the you know some of the small guys could be really really talented, and now if you don't have a multi million dollar contract with big companies, you're not going to make it in the NASCAR world because those sponsors don't pay the big money for NASCAR, and that's kind of a shame. But that's how the world works now. So I just, it's, it's kind of like racing. It's kind of like boxing. I used to love watching boxing and I just can't, I just can't do it no more. It's just come too, uh, too greedy, too money motivated. Everyone's making $20 million a fight. And it's crazy. But anyway, what's up, Jerry's? Well, there you go. Yeah, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be a bad combo there, Bert. Let's see, let me just, before I get too far here, let me just make sure. I'm pretty sure we're going to be on the right path, but I just, I just want to double check because we're going to need to go over here and grab a nap uh, at our local. Can we go over there from there? Yeah, we can. Let's see. So I'm gonna make turn here, then we'll go up and uh, we'll hit up there right where the uh, the wrench is there in our shop. We'll go ahead and we'll be able to get this uh, this trailer in and out there, so that'll be good. Oh, great! And we hit the light. seen the trash trucks in there I was kind of like uh, thinking that might be part of the new add-on <laughs> with the jazzy can I think they've had it in the traffic back ads in uh, dump trucks it's like it's the first time I've seen dump trucks in there all right so we'll swing us around in our parking spots here and let's uh, let's get some shut eye it will probably be dark but that's okay I would love to see this thing all lit up at night uh, I've yet to see it all right there we go all right, so those guys wondering what in the world we're doing, uh, what we're looking at here. So here we go. Let's see. We're in the Freightliner. 
Whoops. So we're in the Freightliner Argosy. Oh, shoot. There we go. <laughs> Wrong button. There we are. So uh, we're grabbing an app here with the Freightliner Argosy. This is uh, everything we've got going on. Uh, we're also pulling the uh, the little Case uh, 70T uh, skid steers uh, on a flatbed. This is part of a mod pack that we have installed here, a flatbed pack. Uh, and then also our mapping. We are running Coast to Coast Mod. So we're running official Spencer TV. What's up, man? Thanks. Spence Carver back in the live stream. Well, buddy, thanks for coming in. Uh, it is always great to see you, man. It's, it's going to pull up in chat, and hopefully it's going to alert here in the live stream. I'm hoping. I'm waiting for it. But it may not, because uh, live stream, I mean, the chat wouldn't come up either. So, hey, there it is. Official Spencer TV. Thank you, buddy. Man, it is good to see you. I hope you're doing well. I hope things are going well with you. It's always, uh, I was a little bit worried about you, but I'm glad you came back in, man. It's good to see you. I need a blue truck. <laughs> nah. <laughs> You're going to crash me for wondering. <laughs> awesome. All right, so there we go. So there's San Antonio's where we're at. And what we're doing is uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go down to, I guess this way, we're going to branch off the I-10 because we're riding this I-10 all the way through. We'll pick up a few garages. And then maybe if Tallahassee's where we end tonight, that might be a good place. But we'll hit Tallahassee and then we'll spend some time in Florida just going between these places. I hear Florida really looks really good. Uh, so we'll do this. We've got you know, big city areas down here, Fort Lauderdale, Miami, Key Largo, and then his beautiful bridge runs all the way out to Key West. So tons and tons and tons of stuff. And while we've got we got about 38 in, so let me let me um uh, let me let me say this because I want to see if you guys are interested in this. I did this with Farm Sim for a little bit on Facebook. I'm looking to see would there be any interest to me tweeting out pictures that I've done that I've edited as a part of trucks. Would you guys be interested in having some truck backgrounds that are FTG branded? I did some with the Farm Sim, but then it just kind of fell off because nobody really acted like they cared or they uh, downloaded it so if it's if it's something you guys want to see let me know here in chat and i will do something in the week you know at some point i'll just throw a few out there i'll tweet a few pics you know just my newest and latest here and then i'll put a little ftg something or another on there the ftg united um, let me know if that's something to interest you i really like doing that but it just didn't seem like anybody was even cared the least about it there and we did it on facebook so um anyway that's all on that uh, what happened to chat? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, ask YouTube. This is pretty typical on a weekend. YouTube, I guess, just gets inundated with stuff, and their servers don't update fast enough. Uh, and then Game Show cannot pull the chat down fast enough, because that's coming from YouTube, not from them. So I kind of get stuck if YouTube uh, just doesn't want to update things as quick. Uh, it probably is working now, but we've, we've kind of done it since then. And uh, Wow, we're trying to start this thing off in uh, fifth gear. Good Lord. And we got to turn some headlights on. Oop, and we're going to hop the curb. <laughs> well. Alright. Alright, I'll catch up here in chat in just a minute, guys. That worked out surprisingly well. I had no idea that guy was coming there. Alright, so gas is about half. We're good and well rested, so we've got enough to make it to the next uh, the next city. No problems there. Oh, moved into a house of college. Oh, my little boy's going to college. Hercules, Hercules. Well, good for you, Spence, man. I hope, I hope it is a wonderful experience for you, man. Uh, I know it was for me. Alright, let's turn on our auxiliary stuff. There we go. All right. Fuel that gas. Come on, guys. Mm. <laughs> What's about half? <laughs> Hey, appreciate that, Nick. I was going to come up here in uh, chat there, but thank you, man. Appreciate the five bucks. That is uh, that is much appreciated. Yes, X Plane's coming, dude. Uh, we're we definitely going to be doing some X Plane, and we're going to be doing some good stuff there um, on live streams as well, doing like through VATSIM. 
we'll do it through Vassim, we'll do it through Pilot Edge. I actually know Keith Smith, the uh, developer there on Pilot Edge. So maybe we can get some streaming hookups there through Pilot Edge and get some good stuff going on there and get involved with those guys. So I am definitely looking forward to that. It's going to be a lot of fun. I've been, the main thing is I've got a big, huge pedestal base I got from GoFlight, and that's why I'm just not totally jumped in yet. I still have to get my USB card installed in the computer. So once that happens, uh, then it's kind of going to be on the fast track to get everything rocking and rolling. So thanks for your, thanks for your donation tonight. That is much appreciated, bud. A lot of beer has been drank. <laughs> Well, all I can say, man, is live it up, because the real world, you know, it doesn't, it's not, it's not college, man. Yes, 53 footer, you know, um, I know there's a 53 footer container mod, you know, like with CSX and uh, a few of the, like Maersk. Uh, those particular uh, companies, they did a 53-foot model there. So it might be something that you can pick up from, from that. Um, I want to say it's like it says the container mod, and that's what it is. So um, you can check that one out. As for anything else, I don't know if they made a 53-footer for their regular box trailers. I'm not exactly sure. Hey, what's up, Hayden? Kitty? How are you? <laughs> Scoop College. I'm in trade school. <laughs> that's all good, man. All that matters is you're further in education and uh, taking that extra step for better better jobs and better pay. So good, good for you guys. Hey, what's up, Foster Farms? How are you, buddy? Taking money, girls. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm not too uh, I'm not too disheveled here. About uh, did I see? Did, uh, was it Shafar? Is he in? I saw his name uh, scroll back earlier, and I don't believe I gave him a proper shout out. So, welcome there, bud, if, if you're in. What's up, James? How are you? Jerry, as always. Flight Sim Junkie. Oh, nice, man. Yeah, I, yeah, I hear you. Well, typically, I wouldn't really like these, but when you mod the heck out of ATS and ETS, it just it becomes a lot more fun. Plus, it's really easy to connect with chat. I, I'm afraid about Flight Sim. I'm not really going to be able to uh, really keep in touch with chat as much as I would really want to. I mean, certainly once I get up to cruise altitudes, I'll be able to do that. Uh, but I'm not really going to be able to do that, uh, you know, as we're taking off and landing, which are the more exciting parts where people are going to want to chat in or we want to, oh man, this is cool, yada, 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 what are you flying, what are you doing, what is this, what is that? Uh, so there'll be some type of a limitation as to how much, you know, interaction I'll have with chat, which is kind of the sucky thing. But once we get to the cruise altitude, it'll be a lot of fun just being able to kind of catch up and, you know, be able to capitalize on uh, talking about the first part plus what we're doing to prepare for our landing and all that other good stuff. So it would be cool. I mean, it be cool. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, that was a nice billboard. <laughs> so I think there is a speedway down here, too. I'm not sure how you get to it, but... Uh, it's pretty dank. Beautiful sunrise coming up over some oil refineries down here. That's what this looks like. Oh, nice blue tight. Well, that's what I fly, man. It'll be... Oh, what the heck's going on over here? Huh. Interesting. All right. Now, this is actually... A, this is a pretty drive. So... Uh, I will provide a link to this map, so if we have any other coast-to-coast -coast fans out there, once the live stream's over, uh, I will go ahead and uh, post this link up, because um, this is really, this is good. This is much better than the north end. The north end's pretty, pretty bland. Not much up there. Hey, what's up, Jesse? How are you, man? So we are headed east, so we're on the south end. Uh, we'll be heading, uh, we should be finishing our trip up through Texas, so we should be starting somewhere soon. Yeah, there's Houston, so we're going to pull over, grab uh, maybe uh, another garage in Houston, or I don't know how long, how long we got here. We're going for an hour. Um, we'll see you after Houston.
Yeah, I do. I do kitchen tables, man. <laughs> I do quite a few tables. That's kind of my thing. Squirrel does in his live streams. Okay, well, I didn't figure what I like watching. Uh, I, I love watching Cat Strader when him and Jeff Fabiano do stuff. Uh, I think they're funny when they get together and do live streams together. Um, but yeah, there, there's a couple of live streams out there that really do. They do a fairly good job of trying to keep up. They do. They got a nice balance. So I try to keep up with them and watch them and just see how they do it and trying to trying to pick off as many moves as I can just to you know just to better uh, better the stream you know for me when it comes down to it. Well, coast to coast there, Foster Farms. If you want to coast to coast, just just search it. Uh, all you got to do is download it. Just download it from one of the mod sites. It's not in the regular uh, mod sites, but it is, I mean, the uh, workshop, but it is in the mod sites, and it's a very good mod. I think you're looking for 2.2.1. That's the, the most latest and greatest. Um, but just Google it, and then grab it, put it in your mod folder, activate it, and then boom, voila. The only thing you got to be careful about is when you start adding in other, mod, other maps to the mix. Um, some maps have special files that go with them, you know, some other don't, so I don't know, you know, just you just have to kind of keep keep track of what you want to put on top of it, but whew, tell you what, the sun is uh, kind of rare. Speed like crazy, well, I mean, yeah, I guess, well, the speed limit's 85, but we're only doing 80, I don't know why. Uh, do I watch Jeff? Yeah, I watch some of his stuff. I don't watch it all. Uh, but I like watching his little reviews and little things he does on just, just stuff he comes uh, comes in contact with. It's pretty good stuff. Oh, yeah, Nick. i tell you, man, honestly, uh, sometimes, you know, I, I would normally say, yeah, the, you know, well, there's, uh, I guess Houston's way over there. Let's go see if we saw anything. I think that's supposed to be Houston over there. Oh, that Dallas? Okay. It's kind of weird. Maybe you still was on the other side. All right, <laughs> we'll get we'll get sped back up here, and then we'll uh, let's hit the cruise. There we go. Now, oh, I was doing 92. Oh. <laughs> hey, what's up, Strike? How are you, man? No scope drift. Whoa. Whoa. I actually did that a little earlier. Hey, what's up, Ron? How are you, man? <laughs> yeah, tonight's actually a slow night there, uh, Strike. We did, uh, we're doing a lot better. Friday's always a slow night. I don't know why. Um, that's usually when I have my most time. Plus, we didn't get started until like midnight, so we are getting a heck of a late start. I think our, our high number last night, we did uh, put on about 40 or almost 50 subs last night. Uh, and we did, uh, yeah, yesterday was an awesome stream. I totally unsuspected for me. I had no idea it was coming. But anyway, you guys showed up and showed out last night. So thank you for that. Oh, and there lies a uh, 747. It's all the flight sim fans. There you go. I don't know where she's landing. Hopefully she's not landing on the I-10. <laughs> I don't even know if you can see it anymore. Oh, there she is. Yeah, see, it's kind of what I hate, like. Whoa. So there's what the map looks like. So if you ever wondered what it looks like when you zoom all the way out, there you go. Hey, man. What is up, Nick T? Thank you, bud. Appreciate that. You guys are so nice. So nice of you. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, man. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate that. Means a lot. Great community, you guys in here. Mr. Shrike's in here. I know Monsoor's in from time to time. Nick T, Ryan, Chuck. Who else is out? Who am I messing with? Obviously, Raptor. So thank you there. There's your uh, shout out there, Nick. So appreciate that. Um, so we got Nick and Monsoor Shrike, uh, Ron, Chuck, Raptor comes in from time to time, says hey, and throws a little quickie out there for me. All those guys are huge supporters of just everybody in the community, not just me, but they support a lot of guys. So 
uh, thank you to all you guys and if you want to if you want to join this community you can always hit that team speak uh, link down there and it's got information on how to join the team speak come in there and hang out with us talk to us um, it's free you don't have to pay anything you don't have to do anything just come in and be a good member there in the community there's tons of guys playing farm sim if that's your thing if there's um, other things you like playing rts strategy games military games arma 3 uh pretty much anything that's hot right now you ain't got a lot of guys playing so uh thanks for that nick that means a lot man appreciate it well thanks there foster appreciate that man y'all uh you know definitely uh showing out man the past couple of days much appreciated y'all make it easy y'all make it easy Be careful there, Nick, man. Y'all, uh, you buckle down, man. Uh, let me know how things go. Uh, I think there was someone else down that was down in that, uh, Louisiana. Oh, yeah, strikes on that, then. So how, how, you have to let me know, strike, how things are. There's a tree in the middle of the freaking road. <laughs> Woo. I don't have to tell the old Prius, gonna have to, you gonna have to quit brake checking me 65 and the 85. Come on now. Oh, she did slow down. I just said. What's up, Jughead Gamer? What's up? Hey, what's up, AK? Yep, nope, not everybody can afford to donate. That's completely okay. Uh, I appreciate you guys' support. Uh, subscribing, liking videos, doing all that good stuff. That's all a uh, part of just great support here and showing up, watching videos, and liking videos and keeping up with series and keeping up with the community. That's all part of it. So I always say, you know, if you guys can donate, please do. But if you can't, it's okay. Uh, I just want to see that everybody can come in here and have a great time and enjoy everybody's company. So, thank you to everybody it's in any which way you support. It is all much appreciated. Hi there, see you there, Jimmy. Uh, next live stream probably is going to be tomorrow night. Uh, you know, it depends. We've got a few things going on tomorrow afternoon. Uh, so, if those things don't bleed over too much, I'd like to get started way earlier than I did tonight. I'm not generally a midnight streamer. I don't really typically like to start that late uh, i like to be really up and going by then so um now hopefully we can we do a little better on that tomorrow oh foster's in the southwest Wiz. will you guys be careful let me know hopefully we will talk to you guys you know, the internet and all the service and stuff won't get cut out from the hurricane hopefully things aren't as bad as they uh they always make it out to be a lot more worse than I think and sometimes it can be. Hey, are y'all interested in seeing the uh, the uh, Lafayette L Raceway? <laughs> I'm up for it. What the heck, man? We still got 45 minutes to make it down to Savannah. What the heck? Let's roll. <laughs> I like your videos you do. Well, they ain't thinking they're Jughead. Yep. Thank you, Eric Kate. No problem, man. I appreciate you coming by and stopping in and saying hey from time to time. Much appreciated as always. Well, I hope not there, Game Killer. Uh, I've got a links there, Jughead, to the computer that I do use. Uh, it's uh, new there from Digital Storm, so you can go check it out. You see what I look like, and you can see what the PC looks like. Um, can I see what my components are? I need to just list the components out in the description. I just forget to. I need to do that, I just, I don't know. Yep, Fast Farms, the I-10, that's right, man, that's where we're at. All right, let's zoom in here, let's uh, let's go down to this raceway, let's check this out. I've seen pictures of it, but I've never been down here. Obviously, it's the first time driving on this mod, so let's see what we got. Nice, we're in the Freightliner Argosy, oh, look at this, wow. And listen to that Jake break. Yeah. Uh, that's where this trip ends there, Blue Time. That's where this that's where this uh, car goes headed. Now whether or not we go to Savannah, then we won't be doing that yet. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna hit off on the 75 South there in Florida. Um, so we're actually going over some swampland right now, in Louisiana. I think I see Strike's house over there down there in a boat shooting a gator out of the water. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, well, I think the sounds are from the uh, sound pack I've got in here. I've got an engine sound pack, and I think that that's where it's coming from. I don't think this is part of the original truck. I don't think. Um, I never can tell on the engines because I can't tell what's modded from a mod and what's modded like from the truck itself. Louisiana Raceway. All right, I'm dying to try this. Oh, look at this. <laughs> what in the world? Okay, this is going to be cool. I need to do a separate video just on this right here. I guess we're supposed to take our trailers down in here, I guess. <laughs> this is so redneck, it's going to be funny. Um, let's see. All right, so let me zoom in and figure out what the heck I'm doing. So can I can I actually go in here and race? Pull through scales. So is this the raceway? Is this is this the way to it? <laughs> no way. Oh, or we're gonna take the skid steers with us. Woo, here we go. You want me to unhook first? All right, I can I can hook I can unhook first. So let's go ahead and drive on the other side. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. This thing will this thing will straight up scream. Y'all are in for a treat. Those that are in live stream today came or y'all are in for a treat. Alright. So let me do this. Uh, let me go ahead and update. Uh, make sure alerts go through. Alright, so there's that. So we, yeah, we're definitely going to have to do us a, a separate little episode live stream on this. Alright, so trailer's unhooked. Let's get it going. Oh lord, we're going to die. Try this thing or it's really... There we go. Pulling an FTG, I know. So we got to figure out exactly how we're. Oh my God! What? <laughs> what is this? Holy crap! All right, so there's our. <laughs> oh, this is great. Lou, who is this? November fifteenth. It's gonna be Kid Rock and who is this? Is that who it is? <laughs> Chris Stapleton. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. All right. They too, they suck anyway. Oh, wait, oh, for real? Oh, wow. All right, here we go. Oh, wow, really? Okay, this is gonna be fun. See, we, are we supposed to go, um, I see the traffic is faced this way, but are we supposed to, does it matter which way we go? Are we supposed to go left like we do in NASCAR? I think we're supposed to go left. Y'all can kill me now. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I can't believe I did that. That was just an insult to all rednecks everywhere. All right, here we go. Richard Petty Racing School right here. Later, Tim. Here we go. Folks, we don't know. 130. So 130 looks like our limit in this truck. Not gonna go any faster. We'd have to gear down for this one. to the floors man where are you at ww gaming we're at the louisiana raceway 
here in uh, ATS, bro. All right, one more, one more lap here. So then there's some other stuff as well. So you've got the main area. Oh, stomping on the uh, brakes there. All right, so I think there's also like a road course out beside it too. I don't think it's just the uh, just the raceway, correct? Burning gas, making you laugh. Well, that's, that's good, man. It's good. It's good to laugh. Burn a lot of calories laughing. Laughing and sneezing. Somebody give him some pepper. So that was pretty cool. All right. So I think, let me look at the map because I want to say, yeah, I want to say that this, uh, that this right here, this little road course, I think, now it may just be a road. I don't know. I mean, you, you guys may know more than I do. Why is this the thing? I have no idea, but it was a fun thing. All right. So I think, let's see, where is that case? Okay, so is this it? So, <laughs> good lord. Uh oh, Boring. 
and he said if you want to you can always stop off at the drags at the uh, at the raceway okay so you saw the raceway yeah so it's not in the default coast to coast you gotta have that extra mod so i'll put the link up there after the live stream guys if you guys want to see this i-10 mod and see the raceway here it's it's a little bit of fun i th still think with a box trailer or something it would be a lot more fun just to be honest with you is like so when you're on the road and you're going 65 or 70 miles an hour and then you run off the road kind of like where you hit the alligator strip there uh the road strip so that's what it does whenever you run on the dirt when you're going 65 or 70 and you hit the dirt it's like a warning to wake you up because it's like a, a sensory alarm to make sure that you're not asleep so i downloaded that little that, that mod on here just because it's pretty cool when you run off the road when you're on the interstate but i didn't think you'd really be going 65 miles an hour on the dirt <laughs> Can we get out of the trees? Yeah, whenever this, we're on the last part of this, man. And the trees are just there to cover it up. They're actually kind of like, after a while, they get a little bit, you know. But see, I guarantee if we, if we zoomed out. Yeah, see, that's what it looks like. You ever want to know what a map looks like outside of this? There you go. It's got like a wood pier floor down there. It's kind of weird. Yeah, the trees are messing with it. Yeah, we're almost done. We'll do this and we'll do one more lap there on the track and then we'll be uh, we'll finish our drive out. This was fun. This was a nice detour. Yeah, and doing 60 frames, man. Uh, 60 frames with all these trees, man. It's, it's like, woo. Because at this point, there's, oh, here we go. We're going to get out of the trees a little bit, at least for the next little bit here. Uh oh, I don't know where to go. Uh oh. Oh, okay, wow. Alright. <laughs> this looks very unfinished. Maybe nobody ever makes it to that point.
I might not want to do that. Alright, here we go. Just close your eyes, Alan. <laughs> We're almost out, man. And, we'll, and then we'll do the racetrack. Man, you gotta see the racetrack. If you didn't see that, you gotta see the racetrack. Yeah, a little bit. It's just, uh, it's just an unfinished mod. Like it's, it's got some good terrain and some other good little, little things in there. They could honestly just put the trees around the, the, the place, you know, and it would be just fine. They don't have to put all these trees like in the middle of this. And I guess this is the water, uh, just kind of the water plane set way too high. But you know, it's okay. You know, it's not supposed to be like completely realistic because this doesn't really exist. <laughs> it's okay. I got 26 watching after that. That was a mess. Alright, here she goes. Hey, what's up, Ghost Money? I'm good, man. Thanks for asking. I hope you have been. Alright, so there's Buck 12. 15. I uh, won't be going too much longer that game killer. Uh, it's getting late for me, so I got a few other things I want to set up for tomorrow night. Uh, a few of the few of the little nitpicky things I want to do. And if you want more we're driving. Like, okay, that's better. I can I can deal with you doing 130 in the free line around the track. <laughs> yeah, it's it's. Uh, well, I'm not sure about the chat. There's no hunter, but it's uh, yeah, it's not loading on the screen because YouTube will not load it for me. Uh, it wasn't updating and wasn't taking long, so I had to close it off. All right. I was stomping on the brakes and I still didn't make it. There's a drag step in the middle. Well. Oh, no way. All right, finish the stream right here, guys. We're finishing it out right here. Don't anybody go anywhere. Tell your tell your boys, hey, man, come check out this stream right quick. Because uh, I got a feeling, guys, this is going to be worth it. Y'all seeing what I'm seeing? Yeah, that's a jump. That's a jump. More to drag strip in the middle there, my friend. So, uh, from what I can tell here. So there's the drag strip and here's the jump. So let's go at least look at the jump drag strip I can care less about. Let's just see. Oh crap! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I 
Oh no! Oh my god! Oh, for real. For, all right, well, that was it on that one, guys. <laughs> Thanks for joining the stream. Oh, man. All right. Tech on it. <laughs> Let's see. Can I... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me look at this. Before I get too upset, I'll kill myself if I... No, 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 no I won't do that, seriously. Is it Lafayette? Is that... That's, I think that's right by us. Oh, my God. I can't believe I did that. Oh, Yes. Okay, all right, we gotta try that one time. We gotta do the jump. I, I was trying to get up too close to it to see if I could actually uh, go across it, and that's what I wound up with, so I cannot believe that. All right, so let's jiffy down there, and let's do that one more time. Pull it an FT big day. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. Well, I was, I was slamming on the brakes, and I was like, certainly this has got to be pretty cool. And then, you know, you get up there, and, and I, I, I didn't have enough brakes. So, that, yeah, there, there we go. At least if they start you right back there, uh, and then you can come down here. So, I'm not going to worry about fixing the truck or nothing. If it was blue, it would have made it. Well, I wasn't even going full speed, so that really, really didn't count. So, let's see if we can, uh, let's try that one more time. Now, see, this right here in a multiplayer setting would be hella awesome. Oh my god, that would be ridiculous. Alright, so I'm not exactly sure which one I'm supposed to go on. I don't know if any of them are better than the other, so let's just... Uh... I think they're all the same, maybe? Alright, here we go. Alright. Alright, here we go. I was not expecting that. Okay, I guess there was a big old something in the road there, just completely. Uh, yeah. No, oh, sorry about that one, guys. Well, I have to do a separate stream on this. Lord, I don't know if I'm gonna get it, but I'm not gonna give up. This is ridiculous. One more time, and that's it. One more time. I don't know, man. It's like something was in the uh, in the road. Like, uh, like something like a, a map was like, I guess maybe where they layered something together, it was like a sharp edge. So I'll just have to go over that really slow this time. So hopefully I don't, uh, I don't crash it out. I don't know. Now we'll find out. Anyway. <laughs> what happened there, gay? I don't know. Did I drop my trailer? Nope. Thanks for letting me know. I knew it kind of felt slow. Oh, and we got to sleep, so that's great. 20% damage. Uh, that's okay. And I like how they've got a... Uh, I, I don't believe I can do anything else. The only thing I can think of is you could you could maybe put a 6-speed on it. So we'll get down there. Let's drop this, let's drop this speed down. Um, actually, let's drop the trailer off first. Change the tires, guys. All right, so it's a little service on the vehicle here. It'd be nice if you could buy this place, then it would be kind of fun. All right, let's see what we got here. So this is the 720. Um, here we go. Let's see. We got 10 speed, 6 speed at. So let me see what the. Let's see, it's uh, 391. This is the 242. Um, don't need all of this. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. I can't do that because I've got it set down in here. 
let's do i think i've got to do sequential gears what i have to do to make that option go because right now i've got it set on yeah see i've got it set on the 18 speed eaton fuller so i need to take it back to is it range i think one two three four five and six and then reverse yep there we go Here we go. All right. Last time, we're gonna make this happen. We're gonna do one one. It's gonna be great. All right. So I'll be careful over here on this last part. Guys, here we go. So, uh, 
we will continue our drive on neither tomorrow. Tomorrow I might whoop out some ETS, man. Give ATS just a dying a breather. Here we go. Oh, and we're getting tired, so wouldn't that be great to, to actually, like, completely pass out? Almost had the 180. Anyway, that was great. That was fun. That was a good, a lot of good fun. All right, so thank you guys for coming in today. Uh, I'm glad we got to have a little fun here at the end of the stream. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Like I said, we'll be continuing on here as we uh, continue on. So we've got coast to coast, uh, and we'll have some new mods in. We've got a few new trailer mods that I haven't really pushed out there too much. They've been kind of cycling in and out, but they've not really been a part of the bigger picture here. So uh, as you can see, we've almost made it. Uh, we're now in Louisiana on the I-10, so we'll continue on the I-10. So big thanks to Bear. Uh, he came in and uh, and was clutch here on the delivery of the I-10 mod here for ATS. So thank you, buddy. Works right over the top of Coast to Coast. And it does feature this nice little uh, the Lafayette or Louisiana Raceway. So uh, some good fun on that. There actually was a drag strip too, but without anybody to drag strip against, you know, what's the point in doing it? But anyway, uh, so we'll continue on through. Through Tallahassee we'll hit the 75 uh, and we'll take that down through Tampa Orlando because Orlando is pretty big down here uh, we've got some other stuff down here Boca Raton uh, Fort Lauderdale Miami Key Largo and then it goes all the way out all the bridge areas all the way out to Key West so this is uh, we'll maybe start our trip down here or I haven't decided yet we may just take a ride up Mobile and go through the big ATL up through the Appalachian Mountains here and see what this road right here looks like and if we do, we may get all the way up here towards uh, Halton or Bangor, Maine, and then go on all the way back down the I-85. Uh, so we've got lots of new stuff here. 1740. Uh, I'm somewhere. Well, if I zoom out just a little bit. Uh, I am somewhere right around in this vicinity right here on the I-40 and 77. So it'd be really cool to take these roads back and maybe take the 40 and 77 up through Greensboro and then hit the 81 up towards New York. So I don't know what we'll do. We'll just kind of see how the jobs line up and how everything does. So uh yeah i've almost got the 180 i know i was so uh i was almost gonna have it so yeah i don't know when farm sim's gonna be here uh we'll try to get things up um up and rolling maybe the beginning of this week we'll just have to see how things run uh ats has been really good uh viewership's been great you guys have been coming back you've been watching the videos you've been participating here in the live chats every single night so that is great to see we've got a uh, a few added in a few more subs tonight. So thank you guys that uh, that sub and also big shout outs there. Let me go ahead and uh, move over screen here. Big shout out there to Mr. Bird203. Uh, thank you, buddy, for yours. Official Spencer TV, thank you for your donation as well. Nick Covington and Nick T, all with uh, 5, 10, to, so don't go to a $22 tonight. So thank you, guys. It's much appreciated. It's never required. You guys always come in. You support me. Uh, all everyone there from Ratback Gaming. So thank you, guys, for your friendship as well. Uh, it does mean a lot. So uh, anyway, that's going to be it for me, guys. I'm going to be hanging out a little bit here in chat. If you guys want to hang out and want to say, I'm going to get some tunes rolling here uh, as we uh, exit out. So uh, hopefully tomorrow, at least I hope that we'll be able to run tomorrow. I don't see why we couldn't be, uh, but I'll try to get something updated. And I think tomorrow I've been working on it. We've got the brand new DAF tuning set that just came out for ETS, and it is bad to the bone. So uh, I'm thinking we might roll some DAF, some double trailers through Scandinavia or something tomorrow. Something just really cool, something with some really nice scenery, really nice city scenery, something in there. I don't know. We're just going to we're going to put it somewhere, and, and then we're going to roll, and we're going to drive. So uh, thank you guys for coming in. Thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, it's always great to see you. I uh, hope you enjoyed the end of that stream, and we will see you next time. Like I said, we'll be in chat here hanging out, so if you want to say bye, please feel free to. Other than that, we'll see you tomorrow, guys. All right, we'll see you.